Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors, praises, and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mahavakar, Kodash. Name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence, and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few. The very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. I'm thinking about World War Three. I'm putting it upon World War Three. And like I said, brothers, I'm so sorry and sisters today. My sense is right. I'm not the most best today, but again, we're gonna we're gonna push through this. We're gonna push through this. And Lord willing, you will be edified. <laughs> so I'm laughing because I'm thinking about something. So like you, Lord, and you you will be edified. We're gonna go to Psalms, but there is gonna be a World War Three. Huh? Duff save the Holy Bible. Duff save the Holy Scriptures. This is Psalms. Huh? I'm gonna go straight to verse seven. Huh? No in, no particular order. And eight. It says, the Lord, Jehovah shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just. For the righteous, God trieth for hearts and reigns. So this is a prayer of David saying, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. So if everything the wicked are doing, we want it. King David was praying that it would cease. And there'd be an end to wickedness. For God trieth the righteous, mm -hmm. trieth the hearts and the reins. That's the mind. So God is trying the reins and the minds. Right? My defense is of the heavenly Father, which saveth the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. So if you're righteous, it just means upright, and he's angry with the wicked every single day. Right? If he turned not, he will wet his swords. He have bent his bow and made it ready. So a key thing, it says, if he turned not, he wet his sword. What's the sword? The nuclear missiles. He have bent his bow and made it ready. Excuse me, just a minute. Now let's jump to, hold that right there. Ezra's. Have oh, you got Ezra's now? Ezra chapter 16 and jump to where it talks about the sword this is verse 13 second Ezra 16 and 13 for strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow his arrows he that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss and then bows would be what the missiles right when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world right so these missiles are going to be shot into the ends of the world different parts Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The plagues are the seven vials, right? With the angels' control. The fire is kindled and it shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, return if not backward. The archers, would, the archers would be the leaders of these nations. These would be the archers. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? So Ezra saw this and he was saying, woe is me, woe is me. Am I going to be delivered? Who's going to deliver me in those days? So Ezra was one of the most inquisitive prophets. So I believe he's one of the most inquisitive prophets. Right? And it says, check, check, check this out. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. The beginning of famine, great death. The beginning of wars and power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What should I do when his evil shall come? So now let's go to Psalms again. Right? And when we go to Psalms, it says, If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He have bent his bow and made it ready for what? For war. He have also prepared for him the instruments of death. Right? He have ordained his arrows. See, this all comes together. It says he have ordained his arrows. We just read that in, what's it? The Apocrypha. 
He have ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Right? So the persecutors would be those that are within Esau's ranks as well. And you're going to have a World War III Iran. Right? Pakistan. And it says, Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and have conceived mischief, Sigma Esau, and brought forth false, falsehood. He have made a pit and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head. His violent dealing shall come upon his own pates. So we're going to see this in real time. Alright? So now we went to this, Baba Kasha. Check this out. Check this out. Bear me with something. Now we're going to go to Isaiah. About the missiles, right? Let's go to Isaiah, Baba Kasha. Isaiah 54. Right, this is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I've created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. So the smith would be the ancient metal workers, right? Let me stand up. Ah! I've created a smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. So the smith would be the ancient metal workers, whether it's blacksmith, goldsmith, locksmith. These smiths are the ancient physicists. That's why it says, I have created. Mm? The smith. were ancient what? Smiths. But now they're modern day physicists. Right? Modern day physicists. Right? That put together the missiles. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha. And I've created a way to destroy no weapon that is formed against. Oh, hold on. And I've created a way to. I'm oh, moving too fast. But hold on, I've created the smith that birthed the cause and the fire that bringeth forth an instrument, key thing, instrument, right? For his work. I've created the way to destroy. So it says, blow the coals in the fire. That's how this instrument is formed. You blow it, the coals in the fire, just like an ancient smith. Right? Just like an ancient smith, what would you have to do? Put fire to that. Right? Put fire to it. Then you mold it into the weapon you want it to be. Right? And them ICBM missiles, ah, are missiles. Right? ICBM missiles. Which are formed into a weapon, man. Well, okay. So like I just had to be cautious there because you got someone people these people they like to walk past and take pictures. That's what they do secretly. See, remember, look, but I want to stay on point because we can't get distracted, but sometimes I have to move like that. Alright, excuse me just a minute. So it was Isaiah 54 and 16. And I've created the waste to destroy. So the ICBM missiles they're gonna be used in this world war. There's no if, buts, and maybe this is gonna happen. This is why we gotta fear the Lord. It's going to happen. You know everything you see around you, most of what you see, it's not going to be there. Watch the movie Terminator. Watch the movie Terminator. Right? Watch that movie, Sarah O'Connor. And at the last end, what happened? She was banging on that fence. Right? All the children were in the playground, she was banging on that fence. What happened? Right? The missiles came down and burnt the people up. And that's scriptural. That's actually in the scriptures. And Sarah O'Connor, what was left of her? Nothing. Her bones, she was getting burnt, burnt up. But this was gonna happen. This way you got a fear, you have a shy. And we can get it in Zephaniah. I think it's Zephaniah, but we can show it, or Zechariah. Right? People still walking around thinking they say it's not a joke. Through the terror, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men the terror. So if you actually knew what terror was going to happen, you'd be persuaded to get right. But the people, because they don't have faith, they don't fear, they're not persuaded. In Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague where if the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. It says it. 
their flesh was going to consume away. Why are they standing upon their feet, man? Why are they standing upon their feet? What's going to be able to do that? Missiles, the heat can do that. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So it talks about their skin's going to, their flesh going to consume, be burnt up. And their eyes, right? Why they standing up on their feet? So they're still going to be alive while this is happening. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's why it says somewhere in Matthews, fear him that, that cannot kill, fear him that, fear him, fear him, fear them not that can kill body, but can but torment body and whole, body and soul in hell. Right? Which the Lord can do that. That's why you've got to fear him. Right? And when is this going to happen? Because you may say, well, how could you refer this to Revelations 14? And nine, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead, or in his hands, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation." It talks about wrath in the cup of his indignation. In the cup of his indignation, right? And part of that cup, part of that wrath. Is what their missiles, right? You see how all these links up, and it says, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. So there's going to be fire and brimstone within their missiles, in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb, right? And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. Right? Who worship the beast and his image, who ever received the mark of his name. This is the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever. So America's gonna be a very smoky place. But it's just their torment. So those that have taken that CHIP, we're gonna be tormented. For a long time, right? But the smoke grows up forever. It wasn't forever. It's was for a long period of time. Because you're going to have the whole of America that's on fire. See what else we got. See what else we got. We're going to go to Job as well. Before that happens, Baba Kisha. Job. Bear me just a minute. We got Joe Bear. And let's see if we can find 21. 21. This is Job 20. And where should we start? There's a lot here. There's a lot here. This is Job 20 and 18. That which he laboured for, he shall restore all them goods he has and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be and he shall not rejoice therein because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor. All right? Because he have violently taken away in the house which he built it not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save that which he desired. Where shall none of his meat be left? Therefore no man shall look for his goods. So all this is going to be taken from him. Everything he did have was taken from the third world nations. That's going to be taken back. In the fullness of his sufficiency shall he be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him every hand when he is about to fill his belly god shall cast a fury of his wrath upon him that's why when we went into revelations 14 and 9 it talks about those that have taken that mark shall be burnt that's going to be the next step is to get people to take that mark all right 
and he shall rain it upon him while he's eating. The fear of his wrath is the indignation, right? Which we read in Revelations 14 and 9, right? He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bar of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his gal. See, the sword was mentioned again. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of and it, the bow as well of steel shall strike him through, which is their missiles, continental continent, continental ballistic missiles. It is drawn; it cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword cometh out of his gal. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him, because it's not blown yet, has it? That button hasn't been pressed yet. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle, the shores of America. Mm. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, right? And the earth shall rise up against him. That's why you're going to have NATO, India, Pakistan, all these things rising up against America, right? It's going to happen, bro. It will, but we got to, you got to believe in these scriptures, man. You gotta believe in these scriptures, man. So where was we? Where was we? Job twenty. So we got job twenty as well, and just making sure I haven't missed anything. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity, his sin. Right. The earth shall rise up against. Him. The increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. All them goods he sustains. In the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from the heavenly father and the heavens are appointed him by God. So everything he has attained, it's gonna go. He's gonna lose that. Mm -hmm. He's gonna lose it all. how did he gain it he gained it through wicked means man right this gonna happen and yes you're gonna have America which is gonna be the main main nation that shoots them ICBM missiles upon America so I want to go to Jeremiah we're gonna go to Jeremiah 49 just a minute Yes, Jeremiah 49 and 40. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Bosra shall become a desolation and a reproach, a waste and a curse. Another name for America is Bosra. And all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual waste. I have heard rumour from the Lord Jehovah and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather together. Come up against her and rise up to the battle, for lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. Right? Thy terribleness have deceived thee, and the pride of thy heart, all that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, thou holdest the height of the hill. Thou shouldst make thy nest as the eagle, high as the eagle, I will bring thee down, thou save the Lord. Right? And this is mentioned, I believe, what? Is it Malachi or Obadiah? Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, shall hiss at the plagues thereof. So, Edom is America, and it's going to be a desolation, emptied. And everyone that does go by it, they shall hiss. Right? They're going to hiss at it, as in the overthrow. And a hissing is a sign of contempt, right? When, pe when, when you hiss at something. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah. And the neighbor cities they all serve the Lord. No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. So that's what's gonna happen. Right? Jump to verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord shall show that he have taken against Edom, and his purpose is that he have purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out, surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall and at the cry the noise whereof is heard in the Red Sea. It says the earth is moved. So when America gets hit, when America gets hit, right? Oh man, the whole world's gonna feel it. It's gonna impact, man. Earth's gonna be shaken. 
All right? And the earth is moving at the noise of their fall. At the cry of the noise, the earth was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as an eagle and spread his wings over Bosra. And at the day shall the heart of the mighty men of Eden be as the heart of woman in pangs. It's going to go down. And you can further read it in Revelations as well, 18. All right? When you read Revelations 18, what's actually going to happen? Right? Oh, Babylon, Babylon. Right? I saw an angel come down with a great chain in his hand. Right? And guess what? That angel's going to rain down that wrath, man, upon America, which is Babylon. Okay? So with this, hold on, we're going to go to 2 Peter 3. And 10. Quickly get that. This is 2 Peter's 3 and 10. By the day of the Lord, you have a shy, will come as a thief in the night when the heavens shall pass away with a great noise via missiles and the elements shall melt with fervent heat via missiles. Elements, so everything you see around you is going to be melted with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are there and shall be burned up. So why are you investing in something that's going to be burnt up? See, the other people, they don't see this. They don't see what we see. We see it. Excuse me just a minute. We see it. It's just that they don't see it. Because they ain't got eyesight to see. We do. These things will happen. Come on. These things will happen, bro. It's a done deal. Right? Uh, it's gonna happen, bro. Like, it's no if, buts, and maybes. It will happen. Why? Because it was written. And it is prophecy. Right? It's prophecy that America will go out with thermal and nuclear destruction. Right? Second Peter is free. And when was we verse 11? Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All these things were going to be dissolved. So, what manner of all holy and godliness? Godliness as well. Looking for a hasten unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens shall be on fire. Yeah, the heavens, the earth shall be dissolved you put something in the pan you put fire on it soon enough that dissolves the oil same way everything around you see it's going to dissolve and the elements shall melt with fervent heat key thing elements so yeah they're going to melt nevertheless we according to his promise look for a new heavens and a new earth which dwelleth righteousness wherefore beloved seeing that you look for such things be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless so that's what's going to happen that's how it's going to go down okay so with this i hope this was edifying and until the next one shut up one shut up one